이번에는 나라박 소식입니다. 남미 국가 중 기독교 성장세가 두드러진 곳이 브라질과 과테말라인데요. 그 부흥의 중심에는 무엇보다 그곳에서 복음을 전하는 선교사님들의 헌신을 빼놓을 수 없을 겁니다. 브라질의 미국인 선교사 에릭 리스 부부는 13년간 마약과 범죄 조직이 가득한 빈민가에서 주님의 사랑을 전하고 있는데요. 브라질에서 전해온 소식 전합니다. What makes me love Rio is just seeing the hurting people in the communities like this. Just trying to survive. Just trying to pay the bills. Just trying to put food on the table. I see that every person here is a creation of God. And that when Christ went to the cross, he went to the cross with these people too. This is where Eric Reese works. He thinks often of the danger, knowing he might go out one day and not come back. And I wrote a letter to my wife. If I don't return, you be strong. Let my girls know that it's going to miss them. Ministry in the favelas is hard, even for the Brazilians. It's hard because the, 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 the Christian people here in Brazil, and I think in other countries, don't want to do this kind of job. Don't want to go to go to streets at night to speak the, the, the word of God, to preach the word of God. They don't want. They want to stay in the in their big churches, just watch a, a good sermon. Yet the American couple continues reaching out to drug dealers, gang members, and prostitutes. Ramona Reese believes their own background helps them relate. From the way, from from beginning, the way in which we grew up, to bring us to do what we're doing, it's not so hard for us to understand the people that we're ministering to. And so, it's just trying to trying to be minister to somebody who needs Jesus, who just so happens to be a, a drug trafficker or, you know, a militia or whatever. Reese and his family came to Brazil 13 years ago as Southern Baptist missionaries from Albany, Georgia. His greatest challenge, gaining the confidence of a top favela gang leader, the Godfather. One night, the man agreed to an interview in a secret location. The Godfather, who originally wanted to kill Reese, now spoke well of the missionary. He was a person who came to the community and helped the community, which has many needs, financial needs. He didn't come to help with the financial needs, but to bring the peace that many need. Shortly after the interview, a rival gang assassinated the Godfather, but not before he put his faith in Jesus Christ. I will not hold back into a comfort zone from my comfort level, shorten the hand of Christ, shorten the hand of God. When people are dying, going to hell, needing to know there's a way their life can be changed and changed radically, I will not do it. Reese now finds help from a Brazilian pastor with a favela background. I tried to steal a car. When I looked behind, there was a police car. They started shooting at us. And one of these shots caught me here. My mother had always told me that even if it were the last minute of my life, the fight repented, God would forgive me of my sins. And that time had come. I started a new life with Jesus. The grace of God has brought that guy not from near death, shootings to now a beautiful family, a lovely wife, awesome kids. Only the grace of God could do that. Ramona Reese supports her husband in ministry. She befriends other women, including Vivian, a single mother and former prostitute. When that relationship has been established and the Holy Spirit does his, his work and that person receives Christ, And, and I can actually see them be, being baptized and seeing them joining a church. That's the greatest. That's the biggest reward. And as the Reese's deal with the daily challenges of work in the favelas, people like Vivian remind them why they came in the first place. Stan Jeter, CBN News.